Jenna Knight here. I'm an acupuncturist in Port Moody, BC, Canada, and I am the owner and operator of Zenflower Acupuncture. I'll show you guys, but I'm definitely over this whole coronavirus pandemic. I want to go back to work so bad. I miss my patients. I miss my job. I miss my boss. We always laugh at work. I miss my coworkers. I miss basically being able to help people every day. Um, and having all of this time away from work, I've definitely had time to reflect on some of my cases. And today, uh, one of my success stories, I don't know what made me think of it, but I was thinking about it and I wanted to share it with you so that you could see what kind of cases I see at work. So this case that I wanna share with you is one of my favorites. Uh, she's in her early 30s and her chief complaint when she came to see me for the first time was foot pain. And this foot pain was completely unexplained. And she had seen a doctor, she had seen a physiotherapist, she had imaging done, and there was just completely no explanation as to where this foot pain was coming from. So I asked her, was there any kind of trauma that happened to the foot? No. Any kind of injury? No. Did you overwork in some kind of way, like strain the foot? No. So she showed me where the pain was running. The pain started at the bottom of her foot and ran to the inner aspect of her ankle. When I saw that right away, I was like, oh, in Chinese medicine, that is the kidney meridian. So I asked her, I said, did something happen right before this pain started up? Something big, like a life event, uh, something really traumatic, something really emotional. Did anything happen in your personal life that would explain this for me? She told me that right before this pain started, she had a surprise pregnancy. And of course, her eyes started to well up with tears. She said they lost the baby and it was a, it was a miscarriage. Uh, and immediately after that miscarriage, this pain started in her foot and it hasn't stopped since. So I asked her, are you emotionally over that miscarriage? Have you grieved it? Have you grieved the loss? And she said, no. And at this point, the tears really started to run down her face. And I said, okay, we can definitely do something about this. I'm gonna treat your foot. I'm gonna treat the grief. I'll work on that meridian. Um, and we'll see if we can get some improvement. Then she told me that since this has happened, she has had an overwhelming amount of fear in her life because her and her husband want to start a family but they are too scared to try again now that they've had a loss. Um, what I said to her was, if you do nothing, it's likely that nothing will change. But if you want a different result and you want to try, we can try. And if we do try, it's quite likely something is going to get better. So the first couple treatments, we worked on the foot, moving energy and blood, and of course, after the first couple of treatments, the pain resolved in the foot. We also worked on her emotions. We worked on repressed emotional pain. We worked on grief. We worked on stress. And then slowly, we eased into working on her fertility because ultimately, in the very end, the goal is to have a, a baby and have a family. So then we slowly started working on her fertility. And soon enough, she was pregnant. Then, of course, She's pregnant, she's already experienced a loss. It emotionally rocked her. So I followed her through her whole pregnancy to make sure that I was there for her emotionally and also to assist her physically to keep her body strong so that she can hold the pregnancy. So with this patient, I saw her for a total of eight months and the only reason uh, she stopped coming was because of the coronavirus and she was pregnant. Um, and in that eight month period, I saw her a total of 24 times, just to give you an idea of what it took to accomplish our goal. If anything in this success story resonates with you, or you've suffered a loss, or you need help with fertility, um, or you need help during your pregnancy, uh, feel free to come in and see me and I will do my absolute best to help you uh, once all of this pandemic and coronavirus craziness is over with, of course, I'll be very happy to go back to work so I can start helping people again. Okay, everybody, have a great day.